what should an athlete be consuming during the game? Is it just water or um, are there other things they should be thinking of? Yeah, look, for the duration of a, an AFL game, you definitely want to be consuming some carbohydrates and electrolytes. Um, so, you know, however that comes for, for different athletes, some people it might be a sports drink, others it might be water, and then they're choosing like gels and, and salt tablets, obviously depending on people's ages. So there's all different ways, shapes and forms, but um, what you're doing in a game, you're competing at a high performance and, you know, there's the physical output, but then there's also the, the skill execution um, and that decision making. Sorry, issues with the AirPods here. Um, and yeah, so you want to be ingesting something to make sure that you're you're continuing to, to execute and not fatigue and, and be, you know, decision making and your skills are as accurate as they can be at that pointy end of the game. Yeah. And what would be your advice for players that might be overhydrating and they have to go to the toilet quite regularly throughout a, throughout a game. How do you find that sweet spot of being well hydrated and not being, I guess, disturbed um, yeah, it, by, your, by it, your performance? It, it, is, um, it is a sweet spot. Like I've seen athletes weigh out heavier than what they weigh in. And, you know, so drinking to thirst or, or having a, a strategy is something which also needs to be worked on as does, you know, familiarising yourself with what you're eating. So, you know, the first thing is weighing yourself pre and post and, you know, about a 2% weight difference is, is a good amount for how much you should lose, but also not too much that you're, you know, dipping into um, a zone where you're going to impact your fatigue or your power output. So that's that kind of first step. And then the mm -hmm. second thing, if you really want to drill down, like in a training session, you can essentially weigh yourself pre and post and also kind of track what you've consumed to work out, you know, what your kind of rate, sweat rate is. And that will give you a little bit of a guide. Is the recovery meal and snack enough from a nutrition sense post-game? It will definitely start the process. So some of the popular options, you know, I, I like or use over the years, like Mexican, whether it's burritos or burrito bowls, like burgers, like good quality ones, wood-fired pizzas. Like that's definitely enough to start. But really, mm -hmm. you know, that 24-hour window following is that full, full, complete refuel and kind of recalibrate for the week. What about caffeine um, for, for game day performance? Um, what, what should athletes that haven't used it before but we're not far away from practice matches to experiment um, with their with their game day nutrition? Like is caffeine, are you a fan of it? Uh, and then what do you need, if, if you are, what, what, what do you need to understand if you're going to play around with it during the practice match? Of if it's something you want to consider, practice in your pre-season games or pre-season training or your trials, practice your dosing, um, you know, you want to be ingesting at 30 to 60 minutes before and just see how you feel because everyone has different thresholds and when you're nervous and you're competing, that threshold can be kind of lowered so the amount that you're familiar with might actually feel like more. So the long and the short, um, I think there is a place for it with people that are definitely 18 and over and it's definitely something you want to practice before trying on game day. I know you've got a few ebooks and PLP members, there's a special little coupon code, am I right? Yes, thank you. I would have forgotten. Um, I actually have forgotten what the code is. I think it's PLP20. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's a nutrition for AFL and a nutrition for AFLW, which um, is essentially all of this game day stuff and, and more in like a 70-page ebook. best place for that um, on my Instagram, like link in bio um, or healthandperformancecollective.com. So I'm pretty sure it's PLP20. If it's not, DM me and I'll find out what it is and I'll send you one. <laughs> awesome. So recipes are included in that for those that um, yeah. some new meals? Yep. Yeah, there's some recipes. Probably my favourite thing in there is the game day nutrition timeline, like that 24-hour window and the types of foods and nutrients and when it starts to change, like the types of carbs when you go from – high fibre, slow release to, you know, more um, low fibre, high GI, like there's a place for all of it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's probably my favourite section.